Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one, and we have a very special guest with us again. It is so nice that you think I'm special. You, I, I every, really take that. You're special to, to our hearts. Every thank single you. time you come, man, it's special for you and us. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. It is good to be back and uh, always fun to see you guys. Yeah. Let's awesome. crack into another one. All right. So there is a movie that came out. Uh, it's called Loving Vincent. It's about Vincent Van Gogh. Okay, I thought it was like some gay stuff. No, no. I'd be fine with that because it's fine if that's what oh, you that watch. Oh, you're saying? Yeah, okay. Yeah, just thought so, it was. So it is the world's first ever fully painted feature film. It, it was inspired really? by letters and paintings left behind by Vincent Van Gogh. It features 120 of his most popular works, including Starry Night and some other ones. The film is comprised of over 65,000 frames made up of entirely of oil paintings with 12 individual uh. painting frames appearing on screen per second. So it, there's 189 oil paintings in the hour and a half long movie. And it's, it's like stop motion, but with oil paintings. Huh. That sounds awful. It... I'm sure it took a million years to make. Absolutely. You mean awful to watch or awful? Yes, awful to watch. Really? Okay. I, I want no part of that. <laughs> I mean, it's probably visually stimulating. See, now, when I when I think of this, I think of, like, it seems like basic animation. Obviously, they're, pro they're not making, like, full canvas oil paintings. They're probably doing it on, like, little, like... like I don't know. You want to like, slap the trailer up on the, on the show? Uh, oh, that's fine. It's not worth it. Go look it up. Finding Universal. Loving Vincent. Make sure you do the right one because may, there might be another one out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't get that one. Yeah, but I just I don't know. I thought that was cool. I actually watched the trailer and I was like, oh, that looks neat. I'm like, yeah. I don't know if I'll ever watch it, but like, it yeah, looks cool. I mean, if, if if it comes to the movie theater, I'll probably watch it. But it just seems it's like old. an animated it, it, this movie. This came out a few years ago. I just wonder if it's gonna be like one of those super artistic. Like, oh yeah, it's about Vincent Van Gogh, bro. Who's sniffing his own ass? About <laughs> I don't know if they oil painted a man <laughs> sniffing his own ass, but they no, may have. I, I've been a guy who's just sniffing his own ass about how he loved Vincent Van Gogh so much that he did this passion project. I don't necessarily want to see that i want to see some guy's dream baby about vincent van gogh dream baby but it seems like it never might heard be that a term visu before. visually interesting movie to watch I mean, yeah and it's done in the style of van gogh like so that like oh, swirly like uh, whatever oh, okay. oh now you're like now i'm not gonna watch an it. hour and a half of that huh? I, i'm gonna be honest it sounds like something you i would see in like a like a kid's show like you know like like an animated kid's show like that like like Come the, to the Van Gogh hour. Ba, ba, da, ba, 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 ba. Well, just like the, I'm, I'm, how I'm picturing it, like the swirling things, or whatever, just seems like something you'd see in, in like a like a little, you know, Sesame Street ish kind of. Mr. Thing. X, what's your opinion about art? Why don't you? What's that? What's your opinion on art? On art? Yeah. Oh, I appreciate art. I really do. It's and, a scam. And I, you know that, right? What's that? It's a scam. Well, it's it's art because someone said it was art, right? Like there's like if you think about all right, so let's talk about art. Like I, I do appreciate art, but I but it's some things that people claim are art made me a little suspect. Yeah, it's like, a scam. Have you heard about the the the, the art installation down on uh, Lamar down there? No, I have There's an art installation. So there's art installations all there, over. There's a there's a there's a train awesome. where the train crosses Lamar. Okay. okay. If you go general. under that, and I, I think they're still there, but there used to be these blue signs, like road signs. They're just like little rectangles, and they were made. They looked like road signs, but they didn't say anything. They were just kind of that road sign blue, and they were outlined in white. Uh huh. And okay. there was a, there was a, a series of them going up like the little tunnel under that. Okay. And I, I think they're still there. That was an art installation. Okay. And the city of Austin, I don't remember what the number was, but it was something like $50,000 they paid for this. I'll make some signs. Absolutely we'll make some signs for 50 grand like like hey, hang these signs up there and we'll call it art. Like that's when I'm like, all right, I don't know. I mean, sure on some level I can't I can't say what's art and what's not. Well, we but. talked one episode about how um Art, the art industry can some is just considered a giant uh money laundering, money laundering thing yeah, believe because that, they yeah. take dirty money by art and then they have the they have an investment and then they turn around and resell it later yep and it's just basically whatever that you know i make a painting i got a rich friend and he's like i'll give you 25 million dollars for that and i'm like sold and then i take all of his dirty money like that's the thing is like when you get into those astronomical prices it usually a piece has like a story it's usually uh historic in nature right right um 
But even still. Like, I get, like, we found still. this missing Van Gogh painting in somebody's attic and it sold for $3 million. Like, I get that because he's, like, a famous artist and it's, like, it's... Yeah, but who, I don't give a people, fuck about Some people Van care Gogh. that much, dude. I don't care Yeah, but no, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I still, I think it's a scam. I feel like these people are obviously doing it. The people who purchase and buy art... You're not a collector. You're doing Some there's people, something. There's something well, going on. There's I, an ulterior motive. I, I look at it this way: the people who buy art already have everything else. Like we're not talking about no. people that just have a few extra bucks no. here, right? Like they already have their yacht. That's they already have their helicopter. They've got nine houses. Like at this point, they're just spending money to spend it on something that no to one have else can assets have. instead of cash. Yeah, it's like it's yeah. like I want something no one can have. Well, here's a here's a unique piece of art. Let, people, let's buy that. People with this amount of money. Their uh, financial advisors say you have to spend the money. Yes, that's true. Because you cannot hold on to it. Yep. Yeah. They, they, You're they, losing yeah. money by holding cash. Well, and they can't spend it fast enough. That's yeah. Like the guys that are like the super rich, they yeah. just they literally can't spend money yeah. fast Bezos enough. Bezos makes so much money that yeah. he can't spend. Yeah, he couldn't yeah. spend it if he constantly spent it all that's day. That's why he bought a half a million dollar or a half a billion dollar boat. Yeah. Yacht. Why not? I mean, it's it's nothing to him. Got to do something. Yeah. It's like spend the money. Pocket change for for you know. It's like me buying a new. I don't know. Huh. Football. I don't know. A new I don't football. Know. <laughs> <laughs> That's a crazy problem to have, man. I can't spend the money fast enough. Yeah, it, it, it's kind of mind boggling if you think about it. it like how much money that had to be, and like at some point you run out of stuff to. Like, how many boats do you need? Like, I can buy all these half a billion dollar boats. Right, I can't yeah. ever be on more than one of them. Yeah, like, if am you, I going to drive around like a, a Navy? billionaire? Like, you could have ten five million dollar houses and still only be a drop in the bucket of all of your money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And that's like, right. and it's and, and then you have like you have you have thirty cars and you have a few boats and you have a private jet and you're like, I haven't even spent half my money. Yeah, and then like, okay, now I have what ten houses. Like when am I going to be in which one and why? Like I like I honestly think I'm like okay I get having a vacation home be fun to have one, but am I going to just fly around all my houses all the time and never see other people? Yeah, like, I don't. Yeah, that sounds like an awful life. Honestly, <laughs> yeah, you don't have any friends. You just fly around by yourself because yeah. they all work. Yeah, they're so all working. So or you or you're paying them one of the two. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're those aren't good them friends to be either. Your friend or yeah. they're working. Exactly. Oh, well, if I was rich, guys, I'm definitely paying you guys to hang out. Well, I appreciate that. Like, listen, I don't want you to work anymore because I'm bored and I need you to talk <laughs> yeah. to. You know what, TNT? I'm in. I yeah, already, yeah. Uh, if yeah. you ever get so rich, <coughs> you need me to help you stay less bored, I will definitely yeah. take I, I thought time. about it and I'm in. So All just right. let me know. Cool, cool. cool. Absolutely. Yeah. You guys can be my entourage. Yeah, I'll keep that in mind. Well, that, and it explains why those guys all have entourages, right? It's like, I it's need somebody to hang out with. like... What am I going to do? I'm yeah. going to call my homie and hang out, but he's working. How much fun is it going to be when you're traveling all over the world by yourself? There's nothing. No. Yeah, it's fun to take vacations by yourself sometimes, but like yeah, not sometimes. every vacation. Yeah, yeah, right. It's like, okay, like how often do I want to go? I'm going like, to go to Aspen. Y'all want to go? Like, nah, man, I got to work. I can't afford to go to Aspen. Well, here, what if I pay for you to go with me? Then, okay, cool, I'll come. Like, like, yeah. Cool, right. but I'm going to need health insurance. It's like, like at, at, no problem. At what right. level like, does that become a job? And yeah, I don't know. <laughs> like, it, it's like, a, let me ask you this. Okay, so if you're rich enough that, like, like you can pay for your friends to be your entourage to be your homies. Like, do you take on all of their stuff? Like, you just you made a good point. Like, now I need health insurance. What if I get sick? Are you paying for my health insurance too? Because if not, I need a job to have health insurance. Yeah, and, and how long does this job last until you don't like me anymore? Like, at some point, can I get fired from I mean, this job? That's any job, though. Right? Well, well, yeah, but at least I'm gaining experience doing something. Like, am I going <laughs> to get another job They're being like, somebody what's else's this gap homeboy? on your resume, like, sir? Well, my homie got rich yeah. and I hung out with him for five years, and then we had a falling out. So yeah, now I'm back so, to poor town. So tell me about your experience. Well. Oh, I flew a lot and, you know, I drank, I drank, I got his groceries. Yeah. Sometimes. So I, like, uh, a lot of rich people, I shouldn't say rich people. Like I, like I know them or anything personally, but all of my that, rich friends, <laughs> they say is that I just, I listen, I listen to a lot of, uh, like popular podcasts and we're talking about rich people there. They say that you always want to put people on the payroll. So the first thing you do is you put your friends on the payroll, yep. you give them a job, whether it be like. Oh, my friend, uh, he really, he, he, he sent him to uh, chef school. He comes and meets your personal chef. You you have your right. friend. Executive assistant, whatever. A personal assistant. Personal yep. assistant is basically the dude that hangs out with you and uh, he makes phone calls. Yep. Or he, he orders the Uber. 
you know, or, or he right. tells somebody he's just, else. He's to just get your the homie bag. that helped you out. Like, exactly. hey, hey, we're flying to Vegas this weekend. Book the flights. Exactly. So you put them on the payroll, and you know, you make sure they, they're good. But like I said, with any job, if you piss off your boss, yeah, you're gonna get fired. So I don't, I don't really. See that, that would be a weird scenario because I wouldn't want to be my friends' bosses. Yeah, like, like, because there's like, do we have a performance review? Like, well, because well, like, what at one point, like, we're hanging out, we're homies, and then like, you become a dick, and you're like, hey, go, go, uh. Go jump off that porch, yeah. and you're like, "No, nah, dude, I'm not then gonna go." Don't do it. it. Yeah. Here. yeah, but then you're clean, like, "Do you clean, want? Do you want to still hang out with us?" Yeah, clean the bottom of my shoe with your tongue, right? Yeah, now. like, and then you're like, "Bro, I know you're kidding," and you're like, "Ha ha, no, I'm, I'm not no, kidding." I'm not. Yeah, because they then get don't eccentric. do it. Yeah, but then you're then you're you're out of job. So what's your? And then you got. And then you gotta go back to then you gotta go back to normal so, life. So then what do you do? Like any other job where you're getting a W two when you're on the payroll, you call your lawyer and be like, "Look." This is the kind of shit I had to put up with at my job. That's, it doesn't work the same way. It does work the same way because once you're you, an independent once you're contractor, on the payroll, no, you're on the payroll. Not, you're an no, independent actually, contractor. it doesn't because you, those employment laws don't work. Don't count for companies of certain sizes that are small enough, and usually that's like fifty to two hundred employees. They don't count for that level of company. So there's no way that dude has two hundred people on the payroll. Right. Well, yeah, and I would hire your ass as an independent contractor. Yeah, the, yep. right? you ain't gonna be on my. You're not gonna be on like Jonas Inc's. W two, you don't be getting W twos from me, right? <laughs> yeah, ten ninety nine. I'll pay <laughs> so, your taxes though. So I actually have met some people that have this kind of money. Like, okay. Like, oh, right? because of the yeah, yeah, yeah. From the, some of the jobs I've had in the past, and they've talked to some, and not gotten, not like I'm hanging out and gotten to know them, but I can tell you just from the outside looking in, what was really interesting was the amount of people they have in their kind of circle that are around them, but are really kind of, they're all, you can tell are very self-interested, right? So they all, yep. they all have these financial advisors that, that, cause they have, again, they, we, we talk about, they have so much money, they can't spend it fast enough. They have these financial advisors that tell them, you know, here's what you should do. And all those financial advisors get paid and they all have bonuses mm -hmm. and they, they've, they have like goals and stuff. And so, yeah, they're out for their own. But uh, so, you know, honestly, if you're one of these people, I don't even know how, if it's not your, you know, your buddy from growing up, yeah. how do you even know you can trust them? Oh, yeah. absolutely. And then I would feel that every woman I dated was after my money. Absolutely. Yeah. And yeah. you'd be, and honestly, you'd probably at some level be like, well, I guess that's that, that it's what I get. At least they're, at least they're hot. Right. It's like, well, yep. like I know yeah, what I, I'm, I think I'm, they, yeah, they say, like they say money doesn't buy happy. I think money can also cause misery. Absolutely. It can. It causes isolation. Yeah, they yeah. say that it's actually it's actually worse for a lot of people who are rich because they do lose a lot of like the human element that they used to share with people. There's you, you aren't trying to gain like yeah. most people are like, man, I really want to save up to get this thing. or I really want they're working to go to a vacation or do this thing or buy that. If you can get have any any physical thing in the world you want, it becomes empty. What's the goal? There's to no do value it? to those what's, things. What's exactly. the goal to work hard or do exactly. something or. Whatever I don't know. It's an entry, anyways. I mean, it's still not a bad problem to have, right? But still, I could see the emptiness and the loneliness being a real thing. Give so. me the emptiness and the loneliness. I mean, I'm already yeah, empty and lonely. Don't 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 hear me wrong. I'd like to try it out. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm not saying I don't want to try it. I think I can do it better. I really yeah. do, and I'm yeah, gonna I give can it a stay shot. Happy, I promise. I think yeah. I can. Yeah, I can make it work. I, yeah, I'll give it a so. shot. Anyways, go to crazytown.com. That's all the time we have today's episode for Jonas, TMZ, and Mr. X. Yep.